Hello and welcome back to the channel. If you are at this expert or you are into architectural rendering, visualization, or photography, one of the most important skills you need to continue to excel or to even begin your journey in the world of architectural visualization is an eye for what is photorealistic images. And how can you do that? I have a solution. One of the best websites you can find professional architectural photography of real buildings is arcdaily.com. If you go to Act Daily, type in any building, most of those buildings are built and they are photographed with very experienced architectural photographers. Another website you can also check out will be Behance. Behance have a lot of um, architectural visualizers that produce photorealistic 3D images and also architectural photographers that also produce realistic images of architectural buildings. Okay, let's start our analysis from Behance. First of all, for this image to be made real, there should be a camera. And for you to be able to see this image, there are lights, put environmental lights over the image and specific lights in and around the image. And then there are objects in the image for you to see. And there, are, there is a journey in, in, in trying to show you what is the most prominent aspect of this image. You can appreciate the building as the central part of the image, the swimming pool, the lights, the furniture, the arrangement. You could see some sense of professionalism in this image. This is how architectural realistic image comes to be. This is an image. And whenever you analyze a photorealistic image, the first thing I would like you to always ask yourself is, um, what camera setting was used? This is an indoor space. Where are the sources of light? What is the most prominent feature of this particular view? What can I see more? And, and where is the journey? Where is the artistry in the view? Uh, where is the touch of professionalism in the view? This image we are looking at, the main source of light in this image is coming from the daylight outside, supported by the spotlight inside. And this is something I've been noticing. People that are very good with architectural visualization, photorealistic architectural visualization, that are professionals, are always good architects because architectural visualization trains your eyes to appreciate good quality architecture, how they come together, the compositing of scents, lighting, material feel, uh, all these things. It's, it's when you study photorealistic images that you can get to appreciate them better. In conclusion, what I would advise you to do is, you have a camera phone, you have a camera, take it out, play around with it, take good pictures, try by yourself to see if you can recreate some professional architectural photography on yourself, on your streets, on the buildings you are in, on the interiors you are in. Try and see, can I set up and create an actual photorealistic or an actual architectural photography? And if you can create that, you can use that as a basis to now go into your system, practice with it to create photorealistic rendering and images. Like, share, subscribe, and catch you in the next video. Peace.